Hello, I'm Wendy Seppinen, the Mellon Curatorial Fellow at the Meadows Museum and curator for the Dallas presentation of Alonso Berruguete, first sculptor of Renaissance Spain. In a series of three videos, we will introduce you to what it takes to make an international exhibition like this a reality, charting its course from idea to installation. Alonso Berruguete, first sculptor of Renaissance Spain, is the first exhibition devoted to the artist to be presented outside Spain. Organized by the Meadows Museum and the National Gallery of Art Washington in collaboration with the Museo Nacional de Escultura in Valladolid, Spain, the exhibition includes roughly 45 paintings, sculptures, and works on paper drawn from a range of international collections. The origin of Alonso Berruguete, first sculptor of Renaissance Spain, begins with the noted historian of Spanish art, Jonathan Brown. In his introduction to the exhibition catalog, he stated, I confess that Berruguete has long been an obsession. I dreamed of bringing him to the attention of a wider public via an exhibition. To make any exhibition idea become a reality, a network of people and organizations needs to come together. This starts with the curator who will give it shape and substance and institutions that support the necessary logistics and expenses. After more than a decade, Jonathan Brown's passion project found its home at the National Gallery of Art in Washington with C.D. Dickerson III, curator and head of sculpture and decorative arts. He enlisted Mark McDonald, curator of drawings and prints at the Metropolitan Museum of Art to co-curate the show with him. The project's viability was aided by the Centro de Estudios Europa Hispánica and the Center for Spain in America, providing essential funding for a catalog and establishing connections between the curators and other collaborating institutions. With their help, Sidi and Mark began working with the Museo Nacional de Escultura, the exhibition's primary lender. The generous support of the Meadows Foundation allowed the Meadows Museum to act as the exhibition's second venue after Washington. With the major players in place, it then falls to the curators to begin to establish the parameters, arguments, and goals of the exhibition. What do we want the audience to learn? What resources are needed to tell this story? The answers to these questions shape the exhibition checklist, the list of objects that will best demonstrate the curator's thesis, as well as the publication. With the checklist in place, the exhibition venues send loan requests to the museums and collectors that house the objects, and the curators contact subject matter specialists to contribute to the catalog. With that, exhibition preparation is underway. In the next video, we'll continue the story with a discussion of the publication and exhibition design. See you then, and thanks for watching.